Hi there and welcome to this edition of Weekly Wind-Up with me, Dave Hodgson. Ogles Hedgehog Rescue Centre. Nice name, but it's in deep trouble and it needs your help. So, what's the problem, or problems for that matter? We have owner Vicky Greenwood here today. Uh, Vicky, it's actually a heartbreaking situation, isn't it? A double whammy, two problems all at once. First, a donation scam. What's the story? Yeah, we uh, mainly it was just a notification come through that we'd received a just over nine hundred pound donation. So we were all very excited about that, but it just turned out that someone obviously took fun in getting his hopes up and then not following through. Mm. We were lucky the fact that they didn't take the last few pounds that they were in our bank account though. Okay. Um... To make matters worse, of course, your one and only vehicle that you operate this free service from was first vandalised and then the entire clutch yeah. broke, didn't it? You're no luck at all at the Not moment. Not at the moment, no. How did, <laughs> what, what happened? What, 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 are you in a bad area? Or? Well, I mean, we have had that third time the cars have been broken into, so... But they broke in last time and they didn't take the stereo. The stereo didn't even work. It won't be worth a tenner. Mm. But it cost me £25 to buy another oh, window and it's just the inconvenience of having to get it sorted out. We're just so busy at the moment with hedgehogs, it's just a headache you don't need. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're a Dewsbury organisation, aren't you? Uh, uh, what's the history behind Hoggles? Uh, how and why did you come together and form? <laughs> I set it up after finding a hedgehog where I used to work at Huddersfield. Uh, found him out during the day and I phoned loads and loads of people and I was just struggling to get anybody to help him. So I got in touch with a few organisations, um, went to Tewkesbury to Vail Wildlife Centre, did a care and rehabilitation course for hedgehogs and farmed ogles. <laughs> I can almost see where the name's coming. Just <laughs> confirm it for you. My first hedgehog were called Doggy. Doggy, yes. <laughs> that, that, that's great. Um, you cover a vast area, don't you now? The, how big is it? We're taking from Barnsley. We've had them from Doncaster. Yesterday, somebody were driving in Newcastle and picked one up. And he lived in Halifax, so he dropped it off on his way home. Now, oh, that's something at least. Are, are they becoming a bit of an endangered species? Yeah, the numbers are down by about 95%. They're mm. estimating that there's under a million left now. W w why as much as 95%? What's going wrong for them? Everything, really. They're so Everybody doesn't have the same gardens anymore where they've got like a log pile or a scruffy bit of garden. Hedgehogs like scruffy. It attracts beetles, which is their main yeah. food. Yeah. Um, and also, everybody has the concrete concrete posts at the bottom and hedgehogs travel up to two miles a night so they need a network of gardens not just one garden. Not just one and then of course they can come across one that's been completely paved over yeah. to park the car off the street for exactly. somebody. So it, it's all going against it's, them. There's isn't a it? lot of things, streamers, we get a lot in with streamer injuries. Oh dear and I suppose pesticides on farms don't do them much good do they? No, I mean, even the slug pellets, a lot of people, although they say that they don't harm them, they do make them quite ill, and they can be fatal in some cases for yeah. a young one. Yeah, yeah. And, this, you know, what, what, what surprised me is they're so tiny, really, aren't they? You know, oh. <laughs> anyway, you're receiving help to raise funds. What's, what's happening? Oh, um, I've got a couple of people that really do help me. I couldn't, I couldn't have carried on, really, without them. Um, there's a lady called Leanne who does online auctions for me. Good for her. Give her a good plug, <laughs> yes. And also Philippa, who's organised uh, comp two competitions, competitions now. Competitions running. Right. So it's on our Facebook page if anybody wants to have a look. It's niche that makes you smile and we've got different age categories and some lovely prizes. <laughs> and welcome to Purple Dog. We deliver first aid and health and safety training courses. We either do them in the classroom, online, or we can come to you. We make sure that you're legally compliant. On all our courses, well, they're fun, they are really enjoyable, and at the end of it, you get a certificate. They are very professional uh, and thorough, and we make sure we know what we're doing um, before we go out and provide first aid to anyone that needs it. 
it's a legal requirement for us to have a first aid trainer at work and really looking forward to the course. I came to Purple Dog for their first aid training because their reputation and I've heard that their courses are interactive and fun. If you're a parent or a grandparent, first aid training would be great because lots of accidents happen at home. Contact us at purpledogltd.co.uk or 01484 546 780 or info at purpledogltd.co.uk However large or small your business, Attracting new customers requires dedication and a lot of patience. Just like fishing, but you also need the right gear. Rods, reels, lines, hooks, sinkers, lures, tackle box, tackle bag, net, bait, gas gloves, clothes, and pocket knife lunch. Or you could simply advertise with KLTV. Online, grow your business and your clientele. KLTV, your vision made reality. Should have gone to KLTV. I did notice while reading up about you, you've uh, recently had a major rescue in Rawthorpe in, in Huddersfield, haven't you? Yeah. How did that come about? Um, the council decided to replace all the hedgerows with metal fencing. Ouch. Um, mm. And luckily the contractor came across a hedgehog and phoned me, so I got in touch with local council and said to him, you know, you need to put something in action for any hedgehogs that are, could be hibernating or sleeping there when they're pulling mm. hedgerows out. But luckily, there weren't many, but oh, right. it, it, yeah. it could have been a lot worse than it was. But I think people still ought to be aware that when things like this happen, they have to look at the whole picture and what it affects as well as the people that live in the houses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to... Uh, help or take part in these competitions that you mentioned or even just a straight donation how can they get in touch with you best we, we we're currently trying to get a website going but we're on facebook yeah so there's ogles hedgehog rescue ogles hedgehog rescue yeah put that into facebook and it'll bring and us up it'll bring you up that that's great and what about the competition when it when when's the big draw and and what what are you asking people to do in this competition? Take a picture of nature that makes you smile. That's all it is. Can't say fairer than that. So we've had a picture of a seagull carrying a piece of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> we've had numerous ones of snail. So yeah, yeah. it's nice because there's different age categories. So I think somebody from CBBS is judging the Excellent. junior ones. The so. junior ones, yes. Because it's, it's open for children to, to take part in, isn't it? it? Not just adults. Yeah, and also we've got some, um, a couple of uh, elder, elderly people t entering as well. So Excellent. It's lovely. Excellent stuff. Um, you strike me as a bit of an animal lover anyway. Is well, that... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any other pets? And do they get, do they, uh, I suppose they get in the way, wouldn't they? Nick? No, we have other pets. Oh, you do? Yeah, chickens, cats, dogs. I get uh, the picture. Ferret. <laughs> Africa pygmy hedgehog. Goodness And a Christ. rabbit. Well, so. there you go, folks. So, that's Weekly Wind Up for this week. Join us again next week for more local stories and information. Remember, the weekly wind-up can be contacted via email, info at kirkleyslocaltv.com, or look us up on Facebook or Twitter. Goodbye from me, Dave Hodgson, and thanks to Vicky, Oggy's Hedgehog Rescue, the KLTV News Desk and crew for making this production possible. But mostly, thanks to you for watching. Bye-bye, and we'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.